Hello guys, today is 20th of March 2015 Time you can see 1 a.m. London time And uh, I'm recording with this video a bit early uh, I'm going for two days conference Okay, I'm going to continue pound dollar analysis And right now I'm watching weekly chart As I mentioned you yesterday uh, I know um, this, this look like the price uh, is uh, respected um, this one five thousand uh, resistance area and we can see from yesterday still the bearish was in control as we can see the bottom uh, MACD is still bearish and flex stochastic is still below 80 and you can see the bearish momentum is increasing too right let's see on um, daily what we see from yesterday uh, you can see the bearish candle now you can see the huge big candle again you can see this is inside bar pattern right and this is bearish inside bar pattern and at the bottom what we see the MACD is turning bearish and uh, uh, and as based on the weekly we can see uh, the bearish still is in control uh, let's see how today uh, you know the market is going to perform let's see on four hour what we see in four hour uh, yesterday the price did respect this support uh, this resistance and uh, we can see there's some bearish movement and now again the price uh, nicely respect uh, this uh, support area you can see the price previously respect this area so and after that you can see uh, right now uh, you can see the bullish movement but what we see at the bottom we can see the bearish uh, you know um, uh, momentum is increasing and the stochastic is still below 20 uh, but the MACD is turning to the uh, you know bullish uh, let's see on four hour, one hour and plan a trade for today right uh, uh, yesterday before I plan for today trade uh, let me um, tell you about the yesterday trade and uh, the price was here so uh, as I told you that uh, I'll be looking short and I did take short trade when the price break this wedge and uh, my first target as I mentioned was this one and the second target as I mentioned on my video will be uh, this blue balance line and you can see how uh, nicely price respect this blue balance line so we normally take this blue balance line with the combination of other support and resistance if you look at the the bottom there's a flex channel and the price nicely respect these things and then there was a long opportunity after this bar you can see it when the price you know uh, broke on this resistance and you can see from here to here around about 60 pips and uh, this trade was around about you know 89 pips and again uh, after this candle inside bar pattern in one hour and the price did respect this support this resistance area twicely uh, this is a retest and uh, Normally when I see the price retest that area, it will give me the sign that the price basically uh, is going to continue uh, the directions. And you can see after that there was a nice you know, bearish movement around about 200 pips, you know, almost around about 190 or 200 pips movement. And after that you can see the price did respect this support area. Right, so what is the agenda for today? Okay, uh, what we see at the bottom, we can see the momentum if the yellow line failed to cross this white line uh, you know the first one and then probably i can see uh, the bearish movement based on the weekly chart you can see the bearish movement okay when we should get in or when if there's any counter trade opportunity okay so what i'm looking here if you look at this area all right okay that's the area okay and that's the basically uh, this is the low area you can see the price broken so i'm expecting that if the price respect uh you know this area let me put this line so you can see here uh, that is one four seven nine six zero uh, if you leave it down, yeah. yeah probably 148 area right so if the price you know respect this area and and fail to cr break then probably i'll be looking for a short trade here right and uh, right now uh, at this stage what i'm looking here 
uh, if you look at here this point and this point and this is uh, the low and this is the low and you can see this is another you know trend support um, yeah, line if the price break then probably I'll be looking for you know uh, short trade here so right now if you look at uh, the price is basically uh, it is a moving up and uh, if the price if, if I know more what I do I can see the stochastic is above 80 and uh, at this stage I can see the price is respecting the support area so there's going to be a movement again I'll be going in a five minutes to validate this entry if there's a breakout in 15 minutes or five minutes probably that I'll be taking a long trade here but if I take the long trade here then my final target would be this this red uh, resistance line and after that if I see the price respect this uh, red line then probably I'll be looking short trade here uh, with you know but I need I'll get the confirmation in five minutes all right so again if you look at here you know that's the you know fractal and if you look at here I'm talking about the recent if you even if you you can combine it with this area okay so okay so that's the basically I'll be looking this uh, this breakout okay again this is the triangle you can see that's the point and this is the top point and you can see if I if price break this area then obviously my target would be this one and if the price break this support trend support then my final t my final target would be uh, this red support line so that's the breakout uh, you know we should be looking today right let's see if there's any financial high impact news right today um, we don't have any high impact but we do have 9:30 a.m. London time uh, in a medium impact news for pound and we have a two medium impact news for dollar at 2:20 p.m. London time or 3 p.m. London 3:30 p.m. London time let's see how this news is going to react uh, into the all right guys that's it for today and today is Friday you know have a safe trading and um, i'll see you next week have a nice weekend bye bye